In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make channel art for your YouTube channel quick and easy. Content here on Creator Fundamentals is made possible by our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by Soundstripe. Soundstripe offers thousands of high quality audio tracks to take your content to the next level. And now Soundstripe has leveled up their service once again. Introducing Soundstripe Video. Soundstripe Video offers over 70,000 HD, 4K, and even 5K video clips to take your content to the next level. And with the introduction of video, Soundstripe now offers music, sound effects, and videos on one convenient platform. And with their curated video playlists, you're now able to find exactly what you're looking for in far less time. And for a limited time, you can use the promo code CREATORCREW to save 20% off your subscription. Now is the time to go pro with Soundstripe. All right, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna jump right in and show you how to make channel art or a channel banner for your YouTube channel. So the first thing you wanna know is that there are specific dimensions. You don't just wanna take any old picture you find and try to cram it in to the channel art space. In fact, we'll jump over to my channel real quick and I'll show you what the interface looks like for uploading your channel art. I'm gonna show you this first, just so you have a general understanding of what we're going to be looking at. So in your the back um dashboard or youtube studio the back end of your youtube account we're going to go into customization here and then we're going to click on branding now down here we have the option to change our channel art and when we do that it's going to show us exactly what that looks like and we're going to get to that here in just a moment but first we want to show you exactly how uh, you can make channel art quick and easy. So this is Canva. And if you haven't tried Canva recently, I highly recommend that you take another look. I had tried Canva a couple of years ago uh, and it really wasn't for me, but they have made uh, amazing improvements since then. And they just keep adding so many awesome features and they have a free version. And there's just a ton of really cool stuff uh, that you can do on there. One of the things that they have our actual YouTube channel art templates. So if we drill in and say we wanna make a YouTube channel art, look at the selection of options that are templates that you can actually change to meet your particular needs and create your own channel art. As you can see, there are quite a few, plus you can also make channel art from scratch. But if you had a gaming channel, for example, you could literally come in here and take something like this double click on the text, put in your name, whatever that happens to be, and then simply come up here and download it as a JPEG, full quality, and you just created channel art for yourself. So if you're struggling with making channel art and you're not sure what to put in that space, then I definitely encourage you to take a look at Canva and use it if for nothing else, your channel art because it's really that simple and straightforward. Now, I'm not just going to show you how easy it is to do a single template. I'm going to show you some of the features involved in actually creating your own channel art. So we're going to go in and we're going to do YouTube channel art and then we're going to try a blank, uh, a blank background. Now, there's two different versions of Canva. I highly suggest that you give the paid version a try. Uh, but like I said, there is a free version. You can try the paid version and then go into the free version. Uh, you can actually go to the link in the description below, which is try Canva Pro dot today and that'll get you in on that free trial but i just want to show you exactly how this would work if you were actually creating your channel art from scratch so you see we have this main area here to do our work and it's already predefined to the size that youtube is looking for for the uh, channel art and we can see if we go into resize it'll show us we're at 2560 by 1440 which is basically just a scaled version of the same aspect ratio that you would have for your thumbnail, uh, which is 1920 by 1080. But what we have here is just a ton, a ton of elements that you can use to create this. And I'm just gonna show you what this actually looks like. So if we wanted to, we could come down here, we can go into backgrounds. They have all these predetermined backgrounds, which are just a variety of images. But for the sake of it, we're gonna do this real quick. We're gonna select one of their backgrounds, it fills it in nice and easy. And then you can upload items. So here I've uploaded a bunch of images, but I wanna show you exactly uh, another really awesome feature, especially if you wanna put yourself in your channel art. So you grab any old picture, 
and we'll find one that I've uploaded here of like this one, for example. And you want to put yourself in the channel art. Well, you're not going to do it with a full picture here, but when you have this picture highlighted, you can come up to effects and do background remover. And it's actually just going to cut around your, your uh, profile and get rid of the background just like that. Super quick and easy. And it's amazing how good of a job this does. I mean, look at that. That was, what was it, 10 seconds? And you now have this profile that you could use in your channel art, in your thumbnails, or anywhere else. So that's an amazing feature that they have built into this. Plus, if for some reason you they it gets confused by your background and doesn't quite chop everything out, you do have the erase and restore feature over here on the left, which is going to allow you uh, to make some slight adjustments if, if something goes wrong. But um, the thing that you need to consider when we're looking at this um, canvas for the actual channel art, you have to understand that when you're looking at your YouTube channel, only the center portion of this right through here, uh, and I'll give you a general look. If we go in here in elements and we grab, we'll grab a rectangle. We go right about here and if you move this up and down you'll see it show you the center point which is really handy this area right here is generally what's going to appear uh, on a desktop browser and then on mobile you're looking at a space probably somewhere in about here so you really need to be thoughtful about your channel art because you want to make sure that it shows up good on mobile devices, cell phones, and that it also shows up on desktop the way that you want it to. And if you put, if you use that big old melon head that I had in my first example, and you have something like one of these cutouts, then that's obviously not going to display on desktop properly. So you want to consider that you can do this and, and resize and, and do things like this, which are very helpful. And you can go in here to the text tool and select heading and you can say my channel or whatever your channel name is. You can resize that. And again, if you grab onto it, it'll snap to the center. You'll see the little center lines pop up there that helps you make sure everything is going to be aligned like so. And again, we want to make sure our, our stuff is inside that general area uh, just so you uh, get the part of your design that you want to display on desktop and mobile where people are probably going to watch most of your content. And then this bigger image is what's going to be displayed uh, for when people watch uh, TV. Uh, so if you're if they're watching YouTube through Roku or one of those other apps, then they're they may see the entire design. But for the most part, the majority of your audience is going to see your channel art through that that banner, that that narrow area in the middle of this design. But you do want to upload the full design. A lot of people see uh, their channel art like this. I'll get to my channel art here. And they think that it's a big rectangle. Well, it is a rectangle, but it's not quite as narrow as what you see because you're only seeing that center portion of that design. Now we're going to pop this off here for just a minute. And I want to show you guys what it looks like when you go in and add this to your actual channel. We're going to get in here. So when you go to upload your image, you're going to get this screen. Now this screen shows you what we were just talking about. When you hold your cursor over this area, it shows you that this is the area that's going to display for, uh, or it's gonna be on all devices, but it's gonna be the part that displays on mobile. It's the smallest area that appears. So you wanna make sure that your entire design fits in here. Now, if you're putting a design in here and it doesn't quite line up, you can resize this and move this around so that it lines up with everything. And we'll show you another example. But if you also, if you hover over these other areas, it's gonna show you the part that displays on TV, that displays on desktop, and then to, displays on all devices. Again, the smaller devices like the mobile devices are in fact going to show this area. Uh, we'll pop this open. So the, this is my channel art. Now you see just by default, 
and you could work this out in the design, but this is just as easy. And this is how typically how I'll do it on my channel. You'll see that this doesn't quite line up, but if you just simply resize this and you make it so the bottom half of your image is under that design, then for the majority, you're gonna have a nice uh, um, centered design and you've made sure that your design goes ac across the bottom of that edge. So basically what you would do in this case is you would wanna make sure that this was sized properly so that you could get the bottom of it to reach the bottom of that square. And sometimes it's a little trial and error. Uh, there are templates out there. I have found that none of them are quite accurate. Uh, in terms of getting that puppy centered right within the template that they show. And now that YouTube has changed YouTube Studio and provided that new template, there's even uh, a little bit more adjustment uh, to that actual design. So I found that it's just easier to eyeball it, get it centered the way you want it, and then uh, throw it in there, see how it frames up. And if it doesn't frame, you can make a tweak and do it again, all without ever saving over your existing channel art and ensuring that um, everything looks it, the way you want it without uh, having to overwrite your channel art until it's perfect. Uh, in the upper corner of the screen is the Tube Templates logo. Tube Templates is my website for affordable YouTube graphics. It is a site where you can get things like uh, subscribe watermarks and overlays for uh, videos that involve mobile devices so you can make it look like your your recordings from your phone or on a mobile phone there's also end screens animated end screens animated calls to action all these elements that are at affordable prices they start at 495 so if you are interested in adding graphics like that to your YouTube channel to level up the content that you're doing you can head over to tubetemplates.com and if you use the promo code cfsave25 that'll get you 25% off your entire order of digital products. And the great thing about Canva is that it's all cloud-based. So if you wanna start a design on your phone, maybe you're out and about, you can do that. And then when you get back to your PC or desktop or whatever it is that you're using, you can continue from there. You can take a picture with your phone, open the Canva mobile app, upload that photo. So if you're literally making a thumbnail, you can grab your phone, throw it up, take a picture, and then upload it to Canva on your phone and then jump on Canva on your desktop and have immediate access to that, drop out the background. And it just takes a ton of time off of creating your thumbnails and other graphics on, uh, you know, for your YouTube channel.